Well, how we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, here back with another video for you. Uh, this time, uh, it's a basically a nice little light. In my case, I purchased this almost specifically for use while camping, uh, so I can actually put it up in my tent, hang it from the top of the tent. It's kind of the light. Uh, it actually has a multitude of uses uh, because it does have a built-in battery, a rechargeable battery. Has quite a bit of uh, time, I guess, in terms of luminescence from the actual light itself. But with that built-in battery, you can actually charge your devices as well. So it's kind of a dual action. So if you're backpacking, for instance, well, I can't say it's the lightest light in the world because of that battery built in. Uh, you can charge your devices and everything like that. During the day, however, while you're walking and you don't need light, you can be charging this device with a solar panel on your pack. And so at night, have light for your camp, but also when you go to bed and you don't need light, charge up your devices and then repeat the step the next day as well. So that's why I got it. Um, this is basically what it comes with in the box is the light with, uh, hang well, it's kind of a, a multifunction hanging cord charge cord, right? Uh, and then it comes with a little wall mount. So it's actually designed so I can actually mount that on the wall and I can have it outside kind of as a security light and then have a little solar panel above it so it's constantly being charged and then illuminating at night. Uh, and then you can obviously turn it on or off. And then it does come with instructions. So um, just to go over real quick, and even on their website, they have a little more in depth than what these guys even go through. Uh, it has three different light settings, low, medium, and high. And I'm gonna actually get to that here shortly and actually show you a video at night in my tent what the low, medium, high looks like. So it's 75 lumens, 140 lumens, and 220 lumens between those three settings. At each of those settings, so at 75 lumens, the low setting, you have about 31, uh, 30, a little over 31 hours worth of use. At 140 lumens, or the medium setting, um, I think it says in here, 19 and a half hours. And then on the high setting at 220 lumens, you're looking at about seven and a half hours. It has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery on it. Uh, it Output is 5 volts, uh, so 1.2 amps. Doesn't have a 2 amp charging, but then again, it's a small battery pack. So that's, I mean, it weighs 7.7 uh, .7 ounces is the official weight on the guy. And let me get into this real quick, how it actually uh, looks here. Uh, the charge, this is a way to actually plug it into a solar char charger and charge this guy up. So the also nice thing about this is that you can hang this. Obviously, they have the nice little accordion and this is how I actually hung it uh, if you loop it like this you can uh, if you the easiest way is actually and this is how I didn't do it last night but um, I just carabiner it right and then you can obviously set where you want a carabiner from uh, last night I actually had a rubber band on here and just rubber band it and I'll probably use the rubber band in addition to the carabiner and I think that'll work really really good uh, but keeping it up about from here is about a perfect distance in my tent of course each tent's different uh, but they do have that little bungee there so you can actually hang it. Also within here, uh, the cord itself, this is a USB plug on the end, but you can actually unplug that and it'll actually have a little DC power in so you can extend this so it's a longer cable. In order to get to the other internals, we unscrew from the back side here. And back here we're going to have USB port to charge my peripheral. peripheral phone, whichever you have, and then a micro USB to charge this directly without using the solar cord kind of thing, right? So that's what that looks like. And I guess I haven't actually tried it, but I guess that would actually, you'd be able to do it direct without actually running the wire at all. So didn't even think of that until now, just now. And then this obviously has a nice little rubber uh, seal on it, so it seals it up real good. Wouldn't say it's waterproof, but it's going to be water, uh, water resistant you know rain things like that but I'm not going to submerge it submerge it on the bottom down here the the light switch and everything is on the actual piece itself so the plastic lens here you can actually see the switch if I push on it that's when it actually turns on I push it on again and you see the light that light glowing I think it was probably green right glowing green tells me it's good it's got you know it's near full charge uh, there is other colors as well uh, that'll dictate or, or tell you how much charge is left within the device itself. Uh, and then obviously to go through the different settings, I just push low, medium, high, and then it goes back to telling me my charge level and how much the battery is charged. 
Uh, so pretty simple on how it actually uh, works here. Charge indicators, just so you know, green is greater than uh, three or greater than two thirds full. Amber is between one third and two thirds, and red light is less than one third. Obviously, getting into the point where you should be recharging it. So officially out of the document itself. So that's what comes with it. Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and show the video now of me actually utilizing the light itself in a tent scenario. So here's my tent. And inside here, we have the light hanging. So if I get in my tent here, shut my door. It's just, so it's hanging. It's gonna be really hard to see, but you can see the little bungee. I just used the actual um, little rubber, kind of that rubber band that came with it and looped it around itself to hang it. But it hits all matter of the floor. And this is in the lowest light setting. Let's go and let's turn it off for a second. Let's go mid. So a little brighter. Of course we gotta turn it back off to get to the high. So oop. This is the brightest setting. So no matter where you were in this tent, this is a six-person tent, so it's a very, very large, and I'm standing straight up, and I'm about as tall as where the light is. Obviously, in this size tent, it's way more than enough light to get you by. So, pretty awesome, really, really easy to set up, and then obviously, if I ever, in the middle of the night, need to charge my phone, I can pull it apart here and actually plug my phone in, and it's got that, extra, that battery juice that I can charge up my devices, or my camera, for that matter. Maybe that's that with, with more light. Now it's easier to see how I have it set up here. Pretty sweet, huh? Well, Take did a really, really good job with this light. I'm really impressed by it so far. I think what I'm going to do is get a little small carabiner or something so it's easier for me to set up. But aside from that, uh, I could even run this and like hang a extra battery pack here if I wanted to illuminate this space if I was running low on juice. So pretty cool. So I hope that kind of showed how it works. Um, but that is the Voltaic Shine. I actually did mine. I was one of the supporters on Kickstarter. Uh, now you can get it through their website, which is VoltaicSystems.com. I'm going to post that link directly below as well. So you can check that out. There are obviously other lights out there that do similar things, but this one really caught my eye. I like the design of it. I really do. Um, it's going to be my main tent light, to be honest now. I really like it. I have several tent lights, too. But I like the simplicity of it. I like the uh, versatility of it. And I mean, obviously, if you have a solar panel, it's a great little addition to any camp outing. So, again, the Voltaic Shine and VoltaicSystems.com. So, thanks for watching, guys. Comment below, subscribe to the channel above. Please share the channel. We'd love to actually get more viewers. We're just kind of in our infancy still. Um, check us over on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. We haven't really gotten everything going there yet, but we're trying to. Everything's at Camp Geeks. Or check out our website, campgeeks.com, where we have a little bit more in-depth on the review itself. Um, but pretty awesome product. So, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.